Good morning. It's Sunday, February 7th, taking a live look in Westminster, Maryland. The snow is falling. The snow is sticking even on the roadways. That's why you want to take it slow out there. Thank you so much for waking up with us here on WJZ. I'm Sean Stryker. And I'm Meg McNamara. So, yes, it's a messy start to the day for sure. Just that live look outside kind of summed it up. So we are expecting slippery conditions out on the roads. If you don't have to be out during the first half of your Sunday, I just would not recommend it based on the slick conditions. So the radar, we have these areas of snow. You can see the majority of Baltimore County at this point. It has made that transition from rain from a wintry mix to slow, excuse me, to snow. And then certainly as we look at Carroll County, Frederick County, further off to the west, also to the south though. So Howard County, Montgomery County, you are seeing snow or perhaps some rain and freezing rain. Portions there now of Harford County. In fact, you are also seeing that snow. Now, road temperatures obviously making a difference right now. We are seeing some heavier areas of snow where we see the dark blue. Those are where the heaviest bands have set up. Our potential to get accumulating snow is really over the next few hours. And then by 11 or 12, that chance starts to diminish. There's a look at the bigger picture here as this system tracks through. Then things clear up pretty quickly throughout the afternoon. So we see the last little bit of snow or rain at that point, and even some skies starting to clear, a little bit of sunshine. We are talking about that refreeze potential tonight, just based on the standing water, the slush that we're expecting, and then temperatures tonight tumbling into the low 20s and the teens. Sean? Thanks, Meg. WJZ has team coverage of this winter weather event. Annie Rose Ramos is live in Meadowood Regional Park. How's it looking out there now, Annie Rose? Hey, Sean, we've been hanging out with these crews for a few hours now. They've been hard at work, kind of making sure that all the salt roads are salted with what needs to be out there so that anyone who is venturing out this morning is safe. Now, the snow has been coming down pretty consistently for the past hour now. It isn't really sticking. But as Meg mentioned, those temperatures are liable to drop as we get later on into the day. Overnight, there's a potential for free freeze. Some of the city officials, where it hasn't really been snowing all that much, say there are a few things, Sean, that you want to keep in mind. Like, for example, your gutters. You want to make sure that those are cleared out because if the rain falls and that freezes, you don't want those leaves to be blocking your gutters. But here, the attention turns to the roads and that they could be treacherous throughout the morning. As Meg mentioned, you want to stay off them if you can, but you want to, if you are out on the roads, make sure that you're giving snow plows like these the room that they need in order to get out there and clear away. It is turning slick. It is turning slippery just in the walk here. My photographer, Corey, and I sort of had to keep our bearings and make sure we were walking carefully because it is that wintry mix. It's snow falling. It's not sticking, but it is pretty puddly all around the floor. So for now, reporting live from Baltimore County, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ. Annie Rose, thank you. Loving that mask, by the way. Well, Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott released a message on Twitter last night asking residents to stay safe during this weather event. We are asking all residents to remain at home during this storm as much as possible. But for those who must travel out, please allow yourself extra time, drive slower, and provide more distance between you and other drivers for safety. We're also asking our residents to put down salt, kitty litter, sand, whatever you have on your sidewalks to prevent slippage and fall in the morning. Baltimore County, May, uh, Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski joins us now on the phone. Good morning. Good morning, Sean. How's it going? Uh, so I know the, it's starting to transition from the rain to the snow. How are the roads looking throughout the county? Yeah, that's right. We are beginning to see that transition from rain turning to snow. So the roads are, are okay so far. There's caution as people are venturing out there. Obviously, the varying temperatures and this mixed precipitation can create that potential for those gross, slushy roads, which can also be very dangerous. Uh, and we know also as you get further north out of the city into the county towards that PA line, have you been pre treating the roads leading up to it? I know this storm kind of came up last minute. Yeah, so we actually were able to get out and we brined about 250 miles of priority roads. So our teams have been out since midnight focusing on softening and we'll be out there to plow uh, if or when necessary in our neighborhood. So um, even though it was a little bit quicker, we mobilized quickly and uh, we have hundreds of crews out there, pieces of equipment, individuals ready to respond to whatever's coming our way today. 
Are, are there any trouble spots we're seeing yet, or is it still too early? At this point, we're mostly monitoring, and we have not gotten any reports of any major accidents or, or incidents. But uh, obviously, we are, you know, monitoring uh, by by the minute and uh, prepared to respond as conditions are changing um, out there on the roads. All right, I want to throw a curveball for you to you here. Who do you got in today's big game? We got Kansas City <laughs> or Tampa Bay? You know, it's hard to go against Tom Brady, so I think Tampa Bay pulls it out. But it is a good reminder that Super Bowl, especially in the middle of a pandemic, uh, is best spent at home. So enjoy that chili and that cup of cocoa and uh, watch the game from home with your family. Sounds good. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. All right, well, WJZ is your winter weather connection with the most experienced weather team in town. Download the WJZ app for updated forecasts and information anytime.